Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're going to be doing the last update for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. This is a project that was created at the beginning of this year by Emily McGinnis. She will be linked in the description box below. Her Instagram and YouTube channels are both Emily and Max. I am sure that you have heard of her because She's awesome. She's become a staple of the panning community. She also came up with the Graveyard Project Pan, which just wrapped up a few weeks ago. And if you haven't discovered her, now is the time to do so. So just to address a couple of things in the room. First of all, let's disregard the wet hair. It is currently, oh, 1251 in the afternoon. And I have only just showered because we condensed, or I condensed the nap time for the girls from two naps down to one and it has wreaked havoc on my day to be perfectly honest uh also yes i know halloween was a few weeks ago i'm in denial everything's still there don't worry i'll change it before too long but i'm aware that halloween is gone for the year okay let's talk about this project so the deck of panning project pan is a project that is ever changing and flowing. So there is a game board that Emily updates every month. We draw six randomized prompts using a deck of playing cards. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And I'm almost positive that this will be coming back again in 2022. Oh my God, 2022. So if you have been watching this all year long and thinking, gosh, I kind of wish I had done that you will have the option next year. So please come join us. Okay, enough of the rambling. Let's talk about these six items that I am currently working on this project. Let's go ahead and start with this palette here. This is the Owns Eye Sol Monnier palette. Again, I very much hope that I'm saying that properly. I don't wanna be butchering things because that's just not me. So I drew this for the prompt random color generator. I'll make sure to have the color that I drew up in the corner. And the shade that I am working on is this one right here. So this is Galaxy, has a lovely little dent in it. I do want to hit pan on this eyeshadow. Clearly we are not there. I don't know how deep these pans are, but I have a feeling that I've got a ways to go just based on sort of the depth of the palette itself. I know that that's not always the indicator, but yeah, I have a feeling I've got a ways to go. So I have used this three times since our last update, including today. I paired it with my Flower Punk palette from Kaleidos Cosmetics. Beautiful combination. Really enjoy the shadow. I think it's stunning. In fact, when I do wear it, I have to stare at myself in the mirror every time I pass one because this is such a beautiful eyeshadow. But I'm panning too many things. On to the next one. So the next item that I am working on is this lip liner right here. This is from Vintage by Jessica Lieberskind. It is the cashmere lip pencil in the shade Mocha. This was for the prompt um, a graveyard item. So this had previously been in my Partners in Cream Project Pan and I wanted to get it down to the gold leafing, which it's kind of hard to tell because it's rubbing off because that's where the cap is now sitting. But we're not too, too far away. So that is kind of where the gold leafing is at its highest. And I think we can get there by the finale. I do, I think we can get there. I've used this seven times since our last update. I think I've sharpened it once since then. So we're making progress and I really think we're gonna be able to knock it out. The next item that we're working on is this right here. This is just a deluxe sample size of the NARS Climax Mascara. The prompt for this was a subscription box. I'm pretty sure this came in like a play by Sephora or something. I don't love this mascara. I know that I don't love this mascara because I actually went through a full size two last year maybe, I don't recall now. I didn't love it then, I don't love it now. I've used it 21 times since our last update and it is done with. It has gotten to the point where it is flaky and just not, it doesn't go on the nicest. I do um, layer this with other mascaras, but even then it's just not, not working the way that it did. It's very dry when I pull it out. It's got a really, really fat wand. So it definitely is causing a lot of flaking and uh, touching of 
like transfer onto my um, lid and things like that. So it's gotten a really, really good run and we are ready to call this an empty, which is very exciting. The next item that we rolled in, I wanna say was also for the prompt graveyard. So I ended up choosing this right here. This is my Lorac Mega Pro 4. This was my Pan That palette last year maybe. I don't know, everything runs together. So I chose a shade in here to hit pan on. I chose the shade, I chose the shade Mocha and that is this top one right here. And as you can see, we have some beautiful pan in here. And I hit it with only one more use. <laughs> So I probably should have rolled it out last month. I knew I was close, but I didn't know that I was that close. So this is going to be rolling out again today and it's going to still be with me because I've also randomly selected a shade from this palette for Pan Those Eyeshadows. So it's gonna be sticking around, still getting some good use, but that is rolling out of this project. Also, we have this right here. This is from Rare Beauty. This is their primer in Always an Optimist. This is their illuminating primer. I think I got this for just the prompt a primer and I wanted to use it up completely and I have. I actually broke the packaging open and scooped all of it out like we're all done. It is completely scraped out, empty, clean, like there's nothing in there. I thought that the packaging was just breaking because it looked like there was a lot in there. And so that's why I ended up breaking it open. Oh, I got it again. Um, but it's just the way that the packaging is. It's got kind of like a little cup in here that everything sits in. So it wasn't as flush as I was expecting. So yeah, this baby is good and dusted and gone. And I really enjoyed it. I liked this primer a lot. In fact, um, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I feel like if you are missing the Becca Backlight Primer, I think that's what I'm thinking of, this is a beautiful alternative to it and one that I think you would definitely like. So this is obviously rolling out because it is an empty. And then the last item that I have rolled in was for the prompt, something that you have dupes or backups for. And I chose a Becca highlighter. Um, I mentioned that I have five opal highlighters across five different, I've got two in face palettes and three that are standalone minis. And the one that I showed you when I rolled it in was one of the minis. I actually decided that I wanted to try to work on this face palette right here. This is, what is this technically called? The Eye Lights palette. This is from their, uh, Price, a priest. I'm sorry, I don't speak any other language. Ski Glow Collection. This came out a few years ago. And this is what Opal is currently looking like. Sorry, you see all the mess in my room. Sorry about that. Um, so that is what it is currently looking like. It's looking a little bit roughed up, but that's pretty much it. I wanted to see if I could get some use out of some of the other items in this. I don't know why it's called an eye light palette. Yeah, eye lights when it has all highlighters like it has rose quartz moonstone pearl opal topaz the only two that i am not for sure are individual highlighters are hot cocoa and toasted marshmallow but honestly i don't know confusion but yes yeah, so it was my goal to use that product 30 times i have currently used it 19 so i do have 11 to go and i have no concerns about hitting goal by the time we hit our finale so Drum roll, please. That means that we have three new cards to pull in, and that's very exciting. So I am gonna grab my phone because that has the game board on it, and I'll be right back. All right, game board acquired, cards acquired. They are already shuffled, but I'll go ahead and, you know, shuffle them a little bit more just for funsies. And it does have, this deck does have both of its jokers still in it. The jokers actually have prompts, although according to the official rules, you only need to keep one in. But because these are my Harry Potter cards and the jokers are the two uh, Marauders map, I just couldn't take them apart. So they're both in here, although <laughs> I have not yet drawn them might be you know tempting fate here but okay so we're going to be drawing three new cards the first of which is 
This is the Three of Diamonds. Shuffle again. And then we're going to choose, is this a face card? Yes, this is a Jack, which are always the same, the face cards are. And then one more. And then we also have, oh, still no Joker. We have the Eight of Diamonds. All right, I am going to pull out the game board and let's see what we have here. So for diamonds, the Three of Diamonds is for, ooh, your largest category. I'm pretty sure I've gotten that one before. The Jack, the prompt there is whole collection roulette. I'm pretty sure I've gotten that one before as well. And then the eight of diamonds is, ooh, a gimme product. Thank goodness, a gimme product is great because we only have one more, one more month to go. Okay, let me find what we're gonna be working with and then we'll be right back. Okay, so that was that was that was a little bit more challenging than I would have liked. So let's go ahead and talk about what I settled on. So for the three of diamonds, the prompt was largest um, category. For me, that's a toss up between lip products and eyeshadow, and I'm already panning 25 plus eyeshadows. So I didn't want to do that. Although I'm also panning like a dozen different lip products as well. So uh, I still settled on a lip product. This is actually newer to my collection. This is from Milani. This is in the shade 110 Lustful. And I chose this because it is just a really easy, just balmy sort of kind of glossy lipstick that seems like it would be really easy to wear and shouldn't compete color-wise with some of the other items that I am working on in different projects. So I'm getting myself uh, a very low number goal because we only have one month left in this. So I wanna use this five times before the finale. I just wanna give myself an attainable goal that doesn't kind of obliterate the goals that I have for the other items that I'm panning because again, I'm panning too much. Okay, so um, we're gonna skip our Jack for the moment and for the Eight of Diamonds, this is a gimme product. So I chose my SPF. I'm currently working on the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop and it's just a deluxe sample. I've already been working on it. I feel like this is a gimme that I can get it used up by the next, um, well, not update, by the finale. So that's what we have there. For the Jack, this is a whole collection roulette. So what I did, because I don't have everything broken down onto spreadsheets, I mean I do, but it hasn't been updated and that's just exhausting. So what I did is I took um, all of my different categories and we're just gonna randomize a category and then I'm just gonna pick something. So in my pretty random app, I have variables one through 36. Seven, okay, what is number seven? Helps if I had left myself on that page. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, a cheek palette. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, let me pick out a cheek palette and then, yeah, we'll come back. Okay, back for the final time in this video. So I went through all of my cheek palettes and I landed on this one. This one I love and it has not gotten nearly enough use. This is from Lorac. This is the collaboration that they did quite a few years ago now with the Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the cheek palette from that collection and I flippin' love it. It's beautiful. So that is what the inside looks like. It's got highlighters and blushes in it and I just really love all of these dusty tones. I think that for my complexion they work so so well and I'm not gonna lie the uh protector card has the phases on the moon on it which I just love so so much so yes I think that I want to use this palette 15 times between now and the finale which again I think is an attainable goal I don't I don't think I've got any blushes going in any other projects at the moment. So I think that that will be something that I can make happen with this. And I'm very excited to be using this again. 
Uh, that is something that I just love about project painting, especially in the sort of randomized format. It really helps me to pull things out of the darkness that I haven't used in so, so long. So I'm very excited about that. Well, that wraps up this video. As always, everything that I'm working on as well as everything that I'm wearing will be linked in the description box below. If you have not checked out Emily's channel, please make sure you do so. And there should be a project playlist that you can binge for days on end because there are so many people in this project as well. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.